In this video I want to discuss a couple of words that I come across regularly in speaking with employees that are bandied about and thrown about in a very loose, ill-advised way. Those words are bullying and harassment. I'm often told by various employees that they are suffering from bullying or harassment or both in the workplace. What they don't understand, however, is that bullying and harassment have quite specific definitions within the context of the law. And the ordinary meaning that you might attribute to a word like bullying or a word like harassing doesn't necessarily apply to behaviour in the workplace which must, in order to support some sort of a claim, some sort of a legal action, must fall within the legal definition of bullying or harassment. So just to clarify that, bullying from the perspective of employment law is repeated inappropriate behaviour which offends the dignity of the worker, of the employee. So repeated inappropriate behaviour would suggest that the behaviour must go on over a period of time. There's no specific period of time specified in the law or alongside that definition. However, it has been held in one or two high court cases or certainly civil court cases that you're looking at probably a period of perhaps three months or six months. Now, obviously, if you suffer behaviour that does offend your dignity over a period of three months, you could well make the argument successfully that you've been bullied. But I have seen a High Court case there where the judgment was that the behaviour in order to constitute bullying as understood by the law, as understood by the various bits of legislation in the workplace, would be repeated over good period of time, perhaps six months, but certainly I would have thought three months to six months. That's bullying. So bullying is not where the employer might refuse to give you a bonus that you think that you're entitled to, or might give you extra jobs to do, or might change your role, might change the tasks or duties or responsibilities you have, might ask you to work in a different location if you're contract of employment provides for that, then none of those things would be of itself bullying behaviour. Perhaps they might form part of a pattern of behaviour, but they of themselves wouldn't be sufficient to constitute bullying from a legal perspective. That's the first thing. The second thing is harassment. Again, I've heard employees uh, regularly, frequently, repeatedly say to me, my boss or my employer is bullying and harassing me or I believe I'm being bullied or I believe I'm being harassed. Harassment is actually a discrimination related concept in Irish employment law and in order to bring a claim about harassment it must be according to the Employment Equality Acts 1998-2015 the harassment must arise on one of the nine discriminatory grounds. So that would be gender, civil status, family status, sexual orientation, age, disability, membership of the travelling community and so forth. But the harassment, the behaviour about which you complain, the behaviour which you describe as harassing behaviour or harassment must be on one of the nine discrimination grounds. And that's a key distinction because if you cannot ground your complaint in one of the discrimination grounds, then you're not going to succeed with a harassment claim under the Employment Equality Act 1998. Sexual harassment then is a different ballgame again, but it is a discrimination based claim under the Employment Equality Act 1998. The key point I'm making to you is this. I'm being bullied and harassed in work. I'm being bullied and harassed by my employer. I'm being bullied and harassed by my supervisor or manager. These words are words that can be thrown around easily. 
and you may be doing so, or the employee may be doing so, given these words their ordinary meaning. But what I'm saying is that when it comes to an employment related claim to the WRC, or perhaps suing for a breach of contract, or perhaps commencing legal proceedings in courts, then the concept of bullying and the concept of harassment are very different to the ordinary meaning, to the ordinary understanding. I hope you uh, take this into account and you do get legal advice before you commence any complaint or action to the WRC. Certainly there's no difficulty raising any grievance internally alleging bullying or harassment but when it comes to making a complaint to the WRC or anywhere else for that matter then the, these words have particular specific uh, meanings and definitions. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel on which I, every Saturday morning, repeatedly and with consistency, show up with a video that attempts to explain in plain language some aspect of Irish law or Irish business. Thanks for watching.